Hey Mini Enthusiasts, here we are. Well, it's week 10, I can't believe it. 10 weeks gone by and we have over 400 subscribers now. So if you've not subscribed already, please subscribe to my videos and I'll give you a bit of an update on this week's activity. So guys, it's Saturday evening and why am I so excited about that? Well, it's Saturday evening before the season opener, uh, Bingley Hall Mini Fair up in Staffordshire, so really looking forward that, to that tomorrow. Uh, I'm not taking PO up and Vinny won't be going either. They're still kind of in the workshop, still waiting to be finished, uh, but it's a great opportunity for me to grab some, some, some spares for the Mini, meet up with fellow Mini enthusiasts. I'll be there, I'll be wearing my Brighton Mini Club hoodie so come and say hi if you see me. Uh, I don't need a great deal of bits, but you never know. I'll be taking a pocket full of money, so <laughs> you know. Let's see what happens. I could probably do a boot kit for PL, but uh, yeah, can't wait. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and this is this week's update. So one little cleanup job we're just going to do just before the wheel arch goes back on this side. As you can see, the bottom of the seam finishing strip here is just starting to go a little bit scabby. The rest of the seam is pretty good, so. I think what I'll do is try and repair the bottom half here and blend the paint in, which I'm sure won't be easy on a pearlescent finish, but we'll give it a go anyway. So if I just pull the arch out of the way, as you can see behind behind the arch itself, uh, it's quite a bit rustier down the bottom. So we'll get this seam strip off and uh, try and repair the bottom half of this. So I've found in the past getting the actual seam itself off can be quite difficult trying not to damage the paint, um, the good paint on the car as well, but good way I've found of doing it. Uh, on this I've turned the wheel inwards so we can get a screwdriver up inside, but just something uh, thin and pointed like a, a pick like this is, you can usually fit that up inside the actual seam strip like so and then just lever from the bottom. And then it's just a case of carefully working your way up the seam strip and taking it off without bending it. So with just a very light bit of pressure the uh, the seam strip comes off. Um, as you can see at the top here there's a blob of mastic or something like that where it uh, where it connects up the top just, just to finish off. So managed to get that off and keep that on there as well so when that goes back on it will line up in the same place. It's worth noting that the little clips which hold the strip on, just make sure they don't fall off on the floor and you lose them. Uh, generally they stay on the car, but sometimes they'll come off inside the seam strip itself. So take them out of there, put them back on in the same place on the car. Okay, so what I think I'll do here, just looking at this, the bottom half of this is, is really rusty actually, a little bit worse than I thought. So I'm probably gonna cut the bottom inch, inch and a half off that. Uh, it sits behind the sports pack wheel arches so you can't see the really bottom bit but uh, as you can see that's just really really rusty and really weak so I might as well just cut it out uh, and, I, and I was just going to try and spray the bottom half here and blend it in but I'm just looking up the side and there's some loose paint up here as well so I think I'll just have to rub that back best I can prime it and paint it so let's uh, get cracking see how we get on
So that final pass was with 600 wet and dry. So we're now just going to give it a coating of cure rust on the rusty bits on there. That will neutralise any rust. When you use cure rust, uh, you're never meant to dip it in the bottle and wipe it on rust because you contaminate what's in there. So you should always pour out a small little bit to use. And it'll be a very small bit on this. And then you make sure you don't contaminate the rest of the cure rust. So the cure just, just goes on the bits with rust on it. If you put it on, on clean paint or clean metal, it won't do anything. So it's a bit of a waste of time. I think what we'll also do as well is run some cure rust up, up inside the inside of there and I'm sure that'll do no harm. Okay, so fast forward a few days and this is seam, seam strip done now. It's in paint, so that had a couple of layers of base coat and about three layers of lacquer. Uh, I've got a couple of runs in it in the lacquer, so I left that to dry for sort of four or five days. The paint went really hard, then wet flatted it with uh, 1200 grit wet and dry and then just polished it up. But the finish on it's pretty good. I've tried it on the car and the colour matches pretty spot on as well. So pretty pleased with that just the next thing we're going to do now is just run some wax oil inside to stop it corroding okay so and we're ready to put the seam strip on now there's no way of doing this without making a mess really but a little tip if you're using wax oil it always goes really hard in the can so i tend to just drop it in some hot water before using it it comes out nice and freely then and then when you finish with it turn it upside down to clear the nozzle otherwise it blocks up it can be a real pain Excellent, that'll do. So just to do the car now and then we can stick that back on. Okay guys, as always, thanks for watching. That's about it for this week. Um, it's all back on there, as you can see, colour match is pretty good. In fact, it's almost spot on seeing it come from a rattle can. Still got to put this arch on properly on this side and put the rubber on there, but we've got rid of that horrible rusty bit down the bottom. It's all been wax oiled inside, so that'll last a long time now. So, brilliant. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.